All right, so today I want to make a video. Hi, obviously I'm making a video and I want to. But it's going to be about what not to do while holiday shopping, you know, for next year. Because I have been to like Walmart and, you know, Kmart, dollar store for stocking stuffers. And, you know, isn't that just so pleasant, you know? You're shopping for one of the happiest times of year and people tend to be douchebags. It happens. Right, Perry? Yeah, it happens. Whether we want to admit it or not, we have either been this person or we've seen this person in Walmart or Kmart or Target or the mall, anywhere, Sephora, Hot Topic, we've seen it. And I just kind of want to shed some light on what I've seen because we need to be aware of it as people, as one. We need to realize that what we're doing is either wrong or right. So, the first thing I want to say is watch where you're fucking going. Alright, so if it's a Saturday, alright, and it's December or November, because, you know, November, you got freaking turkey day and shit like that, um, don't be on your phone texting or being like, no, Johnny, not today, you can't get that toy today, you know. Pull your freaking cart to the side and say, no, Johnny, fuck you. Or, you know what, I can't text this person right now, I'll wait until I get out of the store like a polite motherfucking person. And I'll contribute to society while I'm in here. It blows my mind how many times I've gone to Walmart and I've done the double take, you know, look to the, you know, to your left, you look to your right, as soon as you like go like almost out of an aisle and you look to your left and then your right, and then I do it like twice, right? And then you'll walk out and all of a sudden you'll have this person zooming around the corner and fucking run right into you and not even say sorry or excuse me or oops, my bad. They just go right past you like you weren't even there. Like, I know. Alright. I'm a short person. I'm five feet tall. But that does not mean that I cannot be seen by you as you ram your cart into my legs. So that is something that pisses me off. Alright. Number two is when, you know, you bring your kid into the store and they start acting up. What do you do? Nothing. How about this? If your kid starts throwing a hissy fit, saying, oh, I want this toy. Well, guess fucking what? It's almost Christmas. Tell your kid, you know what? Santa's not going to be happy if you're throwing a hissy fit in front of all these people. Or you're embarrassing me. Or I'm going to carry you out like a fucking football and scream at you if you don't settle down right now. That's how it works. That's how you teach your child no. I acted up once in a Walmart over cookies and my mom carried me out like a football and yelled at me. And you know what? I never acted up in a Walmart ever again. That annoys me. You're just walking around all happy and shit, you know, you're listening to fucking jingle bells on the fucking shitty ass radio that's going on above you, and you know, all of a sudden you hear, eh, well guess fucking what, every time I hear a kid do that, I want to go up to them and cry in their face and be like, how do you like it? Right? It pisses me off. Um, there's just so much here. Like, hmm. The people that talk way too fucking loud. Nobody wants to hear your conversation. Nobody. So, if I'm walking through the entertainment aisle looking for a movie, I don't want to hear your conversation over in Arts and Crafts talking about, oh, did you hear about Jessica and Nathan getting married? I don't give a shit about their marriage. Okay, that's cute. 
but it has nothing to do with anything I'm there doing. And I don't know you, and I'm just hearing your conversation probably across the fucking store because you don't know how to use an inside voice. Wow. Very classy. <sighs> Along those same lines, if I don't know you, don't try to just strike up a conversation with me acting like you know me. Like, I'll be standing there, and I'll be looking to the magazines, and someone will come up to you and be like, Oh, you like that kind of music? I like that kind of music, you know what? We should, we should talk about it. No. I may be looking at something with frickin' of mice and men on the cover of my fucking magazine, but that does not give you the right to come up to me and start talking about, like, frickin' tattoos and shit like that. Because, you know what? I don't care. I'm here to get my shit done, and that's that. If I saw you at a concert, yeah, sure, let's talk about our favorite bands together. But if I see you in public, and I don't know who the hell you are, chances are I don't want to talk to you. Also, don't be that person who goes up to someone, thinks that you know them, and says, hey, how you, how have you been? I haven't seen you in a while. How is Kimmy doing? Because that just makes you look an idiot. Like, if you knew them in freaking high school and you haven't talked to them in 15, 20 years, there must be a fucking reason why. So don't just barge into them and start talking to them. Like, you've known them forever because you don't. <laughs> but yeah. I get really riled up about this kind of thing. I don't know. But holiday shopping. It's fucking great. Also, I hate people that park their car, like, fucking parallel parking, but they literally park it, like, sideways. Not parallel, you know, like, sideways. You know. It pisses me off. Don't do it. I have been in the car many times with my mother, and she parks. And the car next to her doesn't allow me access to get out. And now I, I am not a fat person by any means. Like, if I take my shirt and I roll it up towards me, I'm a very tiny person. But there is no way in hell I'm getting out this much space for my door to open. And this much space for me to squeeze my ass through. <sighs> not everyone is fucking Barbie. What if I was chunky? I, I, there was no way I could have possibly gotten out of that situation without like ramming my freaking door into your car. Maybe that's what I'll do next time. Next time someone does that, I'm just gonna go. <sighs> Along those same lines, adding more in the basket. I hate it when you parked your car nice and perfect and then that person pulls up right next to you like, hey, fuck off mate. Find somewhere else to park. Not cool. Nuh uh. Go. Exits that way. There's the door. <sighs> Don't you just freaking love the holiday seasons? Everyone's all pissed off and screaming and stressed over giving people presents. It blows my mind. But, there's a lot more people at stores that need to know that they're being an asshole. But, sadly, we don't have all the time in the world to go over this. So, I'm going to have to say that that is enough for tonight. Today, not tonight, today. Because it's not really that late yet. But yeah. Oh, and this is from when I was cosplaying Dirk a little while ago. Because... I'm not sure if you know who Dirk is, but yeah, he's cool, but he has a really bad fucking tattoo. But yeah, that's that. If you liked this, you can subscribe and like and comment on what kind of video you want to see next. This was taken off of a comment from my last video. 
Uh, someone asked, you know, like abortion and gay marriage, my views on that, which I will do in the future. But they also asked for stories and stuff like that, so I kind of incorporated the story part into a holiday video. Because I want to be kind of festive. Because no matter what you celebrate, Hanukkah or Yule or Christmas or anything like that, let's face it, shopping around the holidays is not easy. And I know that. So, this is this video. See you next time. Bye.